Hello everyone and welcome to a new Let's Play for Chris Kelly Plays. Uh, this month we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil and so today I thought we would play the entry that actually got us into this game and into this franchise, uh, Resident Evil 2. It was released in 1998, so I was 13 years of age. I shouldn't have been playing uh, the first... Uh, certainly shouldn't have been playing Resident Evil 2 uh, because it gave me some nightmares. I'm actually going to play this on easy, so I've got a kind of, you know, a bit of a breeze because I'm trying to do the live streaming. I'm trying to uh, do all of the... Uh, all of the current kind of setup trying to get this on social media and everything so uh, I'm going to try and take this a bit easy uh, but uh, yeah uh, welcome to the world of Resident Evil welcome to Raccoon City So my first kind of experience with Resident Evil 2 was my uh, best friend um, in, when he was living in Glasgow, um, you know, I was 13, he was 15, uh, his mum got him a PlayStation for his birthday, I think it was his birthday or Christmas, but his... Um, they're clo they're close enough together that it would have been at the same time but he came over to my house and said i just got a playstation uh let's hang out <laughs> and let's play some games and i was like okay that sounds good um so he had the i think it was like there was a there was a demo of resident evil 2 uh that allowed you to play for i think it was 20 minutes it was either 20 minutes or 40 minutes and it was 40 minutes of like the the entire game, um, it was however long you could actually get uh, through the through the game. Um, so I think we always were only ever managed to get to um, the police station, and the liquor showed up. Um, but the game always stuck with me when I, as soon as I was able to get a PlayStation, that's the game I requested and. My parents being naive about uh, the ratings board at that point uh, for games, they bought it for me and uh, fell in love with the franchise, fell in love with the, all the games, uh, got them all from the PlayStation 1, uh, 2, 3, you know, it just kept on going, but um, I've absolutely loved the franchise for the, you know, as long as they've been making these games. But this was the height of graphics back then. I um, I just right. right. So I'm now going to try and get this up on up on my can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Up on my social media. So please bear with me. Gun 
Leon's just annoyed he's got the same haircut as him. <laughs> the remake I, I, I did really love. Um, but this, this setup was just fantastic. Let me know if you can hear me okay, and, uh, right. Ah. Oh, the memories. Oh, the memories. Oh, no. Yeah, let me know if you can hear me okay. Let me know if the game plays okay. Now you've got to step forward. Who are you? What are you doing here? Who are you? What are you doing here? Always love this guy's voice. Hold your fire! I'm a human! human. <sighs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Is he Canadian? I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this, this town? town? Hold on. I don't have a clue. By the time I noticed there was something was wrong. The entire city was infested with zombies. Right, so I think he can pick up. Not that I need it right now, but um You can run in and get his Oh no. This isn't a good start, but I quail. Oh, yeah. Fix camera angles. Don't think it's got aim assist in this version. Stay down. game. I'll turn it up a little bit. Um, oh, it is. Let me know if that's it anywhere. Oh yeah, you need to, you need to press a button to walk upstairs. And his shadow goes through his feet, of course. Oh, 
Oh no, wait. Bar for my shoes. bullets but no health just yet start. I was being too coffee getting the, the shotgun. Right, uh, take two then. That was on easy as well. Try to try play through this on easy just to try and make sure they Make sure I'm not taking on too much with the uh, trying to do a live stream talk talk as well. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of. Thank goodness you can skip it. They were parted by an unscapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. Right. Get the hell away from me. This time I think I will go for the, the shotgun. But yeah, please uh, comment down below what was your first Freeze. It's your first game of the series. What was uh, the game what that drew you, you into the franchise? Uh, you know. Hold your fire! I'm a human. Yeah, like I said, this was the one that got me into the games, and then I went back to play the original. I loved uh, Resident Evil Three. Uh, I was kind of annoyed by I all the changes that they had made. Um, What's going on? Initially, in I was town? annoyed by the changes oh. they made to. Them. The RE3 remake. The By the time I but um, wrong, the entire city play it through, playing through it again and again, like the um, the reward stuff that he had for that game. Um, you know, it ended up being really fun. Um, it just ended up being a, a, a nice little kind of uh, 90 minute zombie fest, getting chased by Nemesis. Um, you know, you get to unlock the infinite rock, rocket launcher, as in, as with any of the the games in the series. But um, I didn't mind so much the kind of action style that they, they took with the with the games. I mean, our sex was pretty rubbish but it got his RE7 which was really good and really excited for 
for a village. Yeah, you always um always love the the positioned cameras and um you know, the, the painted backgrounds which and the shadows going through the feet. Just you know, you, you just love Yeah, today I'm going to see how far I can actually get through uh, the game. Herbs. No, just the one. I'll leave it. I thought I could see a green herb in there, but I'll just leave it. Uh, and here we are. We have arrived. I mean, playing the, the RE2 remake, you know, it was fantastic. I thought um, they did really well. Um, I use the computer, yes. Like, doing everything uh, in that engine, you know, the game just looks absolutely fantastic um that's what doors are locked wait is it just Aye. it's all coming back to me like your party has been cancelled what happened about two months ago there was this incident involving zombies touching in a mansion located Touch. in the outskirts of this city Touch. Chris and the other no, stars star members stars. discovered that umbrella, umbrella was, was behind everything, everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, <laughs> hang in there. Don't worry about me. 
the voice Just stuff is uh, in the other room. is better than the last one, but it's still Here, uh, take this key card. You should be able to know, unlock the doors the, in the um, hall with this. The voice acting in the the first game is legendary, Fine. but this does have Just some go. does have some corny stuff in it. Fine, but I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. Yeah, in the remake they did they did such a good job of kind of modernizing the the um the precinct and uh, kind of expanding this I thought I think Claire has a oh what was that what was that that just crawled across the window. Welcome to my nightmares, the liquor. Oh, feels so creepy. As a 13 year old, I shouldn't have played this game. So yeah, that was the liquor. Operational report September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Many have been injured, even more were killed during the attack. Our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent the disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of our armaments and ammunition. Chief Harris has voiced a concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents on the very day before the zombies attack. He made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals throughout the building as a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all ammunition caches. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapon storage, as stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition, however, and a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Unfortunately, the person in charge of the key card key used to access 
used to access the weapon storage is missing and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power to in the power room and secure those locks. Oh jeez, hold on. Right. 1 p.m. The west barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the confiscation room on the first floor temporarily. Twelve more people were injured in the battle. Three additional people were killed following the sudden appearance of an as of yet unknown creature. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue. Capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers as well as their location remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature the Liquor. That's what I just saw. That's what I just saw. And are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. That's quite the read. We get some coffee, drinks, unknown drinks. Ah, uh, yes. So I need to. I've got the fire, I've got the lighter, so I can light that, can't I? Excellent. Make our way. How's everyone doing tonight? Are you guys still enjoying lockdown? Because I sure as hell am not. In Scotland it's, uh, yeah, everything's still pretty locked down until it looks like the end of, uh, Still pretty much on lockdown until the end of April. Which is fine, you know. I'm fine not getting the virus. Oh, thanks very much. Diamond etched into the hole. Kind of key. More bullets. Another report. Oh, here we go. Operation report two. Early morning, 2:30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room, and another battle broke out, where we lost four more people, including David. Not David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. But it won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to a sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there's no guarantee the 
Surge disposal plant is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office, since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Recorder, Elliot Edward. Okay. Ah, this will walk up the stairs. <laughs> that was a problem with the uh, perspective. Like sometimes, sometimes it doesn't really work. Right. So for this puzzle I'm making sure that they are looking at the statue Jules do. I think that's a problem. Oh, nope. Uh, there we go. Hey, pal. Chris and I watching over dinner. <laughs> Thanks for the comments. dinner you must be having if you're watching me play Resident Evil 2. Star's office. There we go. And this shotgun. First aid spray. Chris's diary. August 8th, I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. 
August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G virus, a variation of the original T virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Oh, this is thirsty work. And so that sets off the events of Resident Evil Code Veronica. Will you take the unicorn medal? Of course I will. Leon! 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 It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. Oh no. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Stream is healthy. Let Let's me know if there's up, any kind of any survivors and get out of here. Uh, glitches. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Thank you Take for it. people that are watching the stream. It's very good. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. It's very good for a Monday. Means a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Trust in me enjoying the, enjoying the stream over dinner. What have we got? We'll find somewhere to put this. Uh, metal, I guess. I actually got fright. Uh, I knew it was coming as well. Oh. Let me go. Let me go. <laughs> uh, I just got afraid from that.
there we go. Spade key. Right. Power map. Don't remember if it showed like the Walking. I'm going to fire at random because I've got tons of bullets. to see here. Probably need to go back into that uh, room, but you know what? Not right now. Not right now, pal. That would just sounds really sad. Oh. So there's something in that other room that I need to get. Um, these small keys unlock. Club. Small keys unlock like the drawer that is in one of uh, the first rooms that you get to. Take down the rest of these zombies. Oh god. I'm surrounded. You foolish zombie. You caught in the table.
What are you doing over there, pal? Do not know it. <laughs> Fourth digit? No. Surprisingly not. You know what, I'm going to take that herb just to heal up. No, I'm not wasting a full, full herb just for that. There's tons out here as well. Oh man, what? So I guess what the main thing was for me to get that, get that key, and then just head back to the left side. So I've kind of done exploring of this area but was it meant to come this way which is fine you know, I'm not going for a speed run here I'm not going for a no kill or a no death run because obviously if you'd seen the first 10 minutes then you would know that I've already died but um, This is not coming. It's locked from inside. Yeah, so I'll use that tiny key. Or pellets. That's fine. been about 50 minutes so far if you've been watching for uh, a good amount of time then thank you very much that's um, very appreciated um,
five minutes. Speed. There we go, use the speed key. Just adorable. Oh, this wee shotgun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Three in one. Three in one headshots. That was delicious, sir. That was delicious. Oh, my goodness. Of course, in the other place, then that's where Sherry kind of escapes from. Or runs away from desk is locked. Upstairs. Is this our, our first puzzle? Bronze plate with a picture on it. Yeah. So. Pursuit, yes. I think it was to the right. First puzzle done. Bishop plug. Naughty, naughty. This is down here. I'm now getting mixed up with what I'm actually doing with each of these things that I've now got. 
like the red jewels in the remake are used to open fancy boxes. Um, the plugs were used in the sewer level. It's fine. Um, yeah. No death speed run. Chris Kelly plays. Please like and subscribe uh, for more nostalgia. Bliss. Nostalgic bliss like this. Of course I did. Another small key. Of course I went all the way down there. Thinking that would be it. And stumbled into another save room. Maybe I should save at some point. Secretary's Diary A. April 6th, I accidentally moved one of the stone statues on the second floor when I leaned against it. When the chief found out about it, he was furious. I swear the guy nearly bit my head off, screaming at me never to touch the statue again. If it's so important, then maybe he shouldn't have put it out in the open like that. April 7th. I heard that all the art pieces from the chief's collection are rare items, literally worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know which is the biggest, bigger mystery, where he finds those tacky things, or where he's getting the money to pay for them. May 10th. I wasn't surprised to see the chief come in today with yet another large picture frame in his hands. Excuse me. This time it was a really disturbing painting depicting a nude person being hanged. It was appalled by the expression on the chief's face as he leered at that painting. Why anyone would consider something like that to be a work of art is beyond my comprehension. You know what? I will. I will save. Guys on fire. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Get away from me, crows. 
Wait, so I've never unlocked this. Uh, yeah, I will. Generally, the rule of thumb was if you found a dead police officer, that Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> you just, yeah, you forget about these things. Hello door. Nothing special. Nothing special wise. Why why even why even animate it? Dangerous to go back outside. Just a reminder folks, this is Chris Kelly Plays. Please like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me if uh, uh, you liked, shared, uh, subscribed, commented, uh, did something, said hello, wink wink, or Howdy doody daddy did a little dance uh, just in general got down tonight that'd be good Get it back. Of course, he has bullets. Everyone has bullets. Find a dead body, get bullets. Right, got to brace myself through the the crows. The crows. Bugger off crows. Oh. 
bugger off, crows. You ain't getting me, crows. I think I am best. I think I need the two red jewels, possibly here. Getting rid of that knife. It's really after this, I don't really know where to go. In the remake, of course, that's the the first appearance of a uh, tyrant. Yes. Oh. I'll take that. Cause diamonds are a girl's best friend. free up these two spots just make sure I think I've got everything in this room look at that animation that is beautiful as well as that walking animation King Plug and now Liquor will fall. No, liquor doesn't fall from. Hello. Right. So with this key. Hmm. Downstairs. That door is. That door was locked. Um, oh, God. I think what I need to do. Is I need to head back out this way. I think it was. The thing is, the only thing is, it doesn't tell you which one I'm supposed to be looking for. Dropped off my. Dropped off my live stream. Hopefully that's not affected anything. Still working a okay. Seems to be. Right. right. So we'll go down here.
heart. Damn. Right. Well. What was it? Is that a diamond or is it a... And this... Uh, I think it... Right. I have gone the right way. Around this way, I'm gonna try and take a sip. Try and take a sip. Right. Oh, what, you pressed the run. Yes. Okay, so we've got the cord. F first aid spray, but I'm just going to leave that here. We've got another plug. Because of course we do. Yep, there's the liquor. Bye bye, liquor. Right, so the stream is still healthy. Got uh, a few people have actually watched, and that's how uh, you know. Thank you very much for enjoying this on my Monday night. Uh, please comment with uh, your favourite Resident Evil game. For just uh, you know, uh, any tips for this playthrough or any other playthroughs that I'm going to be making. Um, this you know, I'm relatively new channel. Um, mm. With this cord, I'm going to head to where we first met the liquor and I'm going to put that cord in. I think that means that I'm going to put this plug in the bloody box. Oh, no, oh, oh. There we go. How's everyone doing on this Monday? Monday night. Watching me play Resident Evil 2 on my PlayStation TV. So, how I managed to do this. There we go. Um, oh, you used to speak to you. Brilliant. So, yeah, I bought the PlayStation TV box that, um, oh, I don't need a ink ribbon. Quite a while ago, I was going to play some of the Vita games that I have via that. Um, and then, as a kind of bonus, um, I learned that if you buy a HDMI splitter, uh, when connecting up the HDMI to the splitter and then to the the Elgato capture card, that takes out this thing called HD HDCP, which is a kind of block on. Oh, patrol report! Hang on a second. Uh, patrol report: September twentieth, nine thirty p.m. Reporter Sergeant Neil Carlson. We received a report of a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers in the outskirts of Raccoon City. I searched the area and located the individual. We ran away before I was able to question him. We recovered the following items. A small amount of C4 plastic explosive, an electronic detonator, 9 by 19 parabellum rounds, infrared scope broken. End of report. Yeah, so... Um, with the, the HDMI splitter, that actually takes out the HDCP 
that you need to remove when that you're able to remove manually when you're playing on something like the PlayStation 5 um, or the PlayStation 4 um, but you can't remove it on the PS3 or the P the the PS Vita T the PlayStation TV um, where do we need the crank? oh that's that's for the clock tower um, so yeah, that is how I'm actually able to set up. I don't need in there. Um, and stream this PlayStation One Classic Resident Evil Two. Mm. Yeah, I think this is the diamond. Yep. Zombies. Oh, you bugger. enough shotgun shells oh god what you're getting one of them you're getting a bloody shotgun shell for scaring the shit out of me A microfilm. I'll go and develop that. G human body experiment nine fifteen fifteen twenty four. Guys, go down. Um, take care of this. Of course. Marv, are you okay, buddy? Oh, oh no. Marv, no. You're a big zombie, Marv. Big zombie, Marv. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. The heart key. Wait, 
thicknesses, but it's supposed to be Leon said. Memo to Leon. To Leon S. Kennedy. Excuse me, everyone. Congratulations on your new assignment to the Raccoon City Police Department. We all look forward to having you as part of our team and promise to take good care of you. Welcome aboard from all the guys at the RPD. What are this doing? Um, I've got the crank. Uh, yes. Right. Well, actually, I'll use that to go up. That covered. Might just be that room at the back. Yeah, we'll try there. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm sure that the room that you think I'm looking at. Uh, I'm going to go through this area first to that room at the very back I think that's a heart it might be the club Just got rid of one. Club, right. So I think this one, the next one that I get to is the heart. what has to be turned around again because the uh, in the remake both characters meet a uh, tyrant but in the original does Claire only meet a tyrant or whoever's the This is how we get down to the police uh, parking garage. What's going on? What are you running at?
Yeah, thanks for that. Move it up or down? Up? Down. Alright, okay. Perfect. First try. And that's the hour storage. The map for the first area, but we didn't get the map for the actual police station. Ada! Yes! Sorry about that. Sorry. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. Just push you in. Don't do whatever. And what are you doing here? some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in a cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. Who's the audio in the game? Is everything okay? If we work together. Let me know. Wait! Oh, it's always running ahead. It's like a wee kid.
Let me guess. Yes. You must be you Ben, must be ben. Right? Get up now. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Wait, hang, hang, hang on. Yeah, no about that. And that's what I need to open it up. But the storage locker. And we descend into the sewers. Oh, with the spiders, of course. Screw you, spiders. A safe room. Find a doozy. Mm. 
Um, get rid of them. Right. How long has that been? So I've been going for an hour and 36 minutes. Um, I will. Um, you know what? I think I will leave that for today. We have entered the sewers uh, with Leon. So... So yeah, uh, that is us for today, I think. Um, it's all gone really well, I think, uh, with the the live stream and with this particular setup. So, um, you know, stay tuned uh, for more live streams like this. Um, I'm going to be playing through each of the Resident Evil games on the uh, PSTV, the original trilogy, and then we'll head on to the PlayStation 5 for me to play through all the other Resident Evil games that I've got that were on that are able to be played via backwards compatibility um, so we've got Zero Remake 2, 3, uh, 4, 5 Resident Evil Revelations, Revelations 2 a lot of games to get through to celebrate Resident Evil's 25th anniversary and yeah so this is Chris Kelly please please like subscribe comment do whatever please share and get this channel noticed on YouTube on search results please because that would mean a lot and uh, thank you very much for watching uh, bye and now I need to end the stream bye bye everyone bye 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 bye